In this video, we're going to be cleaning up our service. We're going to be refactoring it a little bit. One of the things we want to do is this container name right here. We're going to be moving it out into the app settings file within our API into this file. And this is where we want to keep all our connection strings. So I'm going to move it into this file from here, this name, and also this connection string right here. We're going to move this out of here. And then also what we'll do is we'll figure out a better way here to set these properties right here. Instead of doing it here, we're going to create a factory that will do that for us. And this factory's sole job, when we call it, is to return us a blob container. And we'll be setting that up within a factory. If we go back to here, the first thing we'll do to make all this happen is we'll create an interface, a factory interface. And then we'll create a brand new factory. And that's for setting those properties and returning us a container and then also we'll be passing in a DTO to that factory and that's going to be all our options from our app settings file uh, let's start on this one right here we'll create a brand new interface inside of our service folder inside the interface folder we'll create a new interface I'm gonna call this one I storage connection factory Okay, and then this is only going to have one method. Uh, first, there'll be a task, and then this is going to return a cloud blob container. So, cloud container, and then you can call this anything you want. I'll call it get container, that'd be good. And then we need to make sure we bring this in from Azure Storage Blob. And that's all we really need to do to set up our interface. Now we're ready to create our factory. Uh, let's close this up, and if we go back to here, now we want to uh, create our factory and we'll bring in our, our interface and then we'll set up a DTO as well. Let's create a folder to put our factories into. So a new folder and I'll call it factories. Factories. And then here we'll create a new class. And I'll call it the same that we called our interface. So I'll call it storage connection factory. Factory. And then here we'll bring in our interface. I'll just copy this since it's the same name. So copy and paste. And then bring it in from our interface folder. And then also we need to in implement it. And like magic, our method will appear. And there it is. Okay, so we'll do a lot of copying and pasting from our service. Uh, if we go back here. And right here we have some properties we want to set inside of our, our factory. So copy this. And jump back here. So, and we'll start at the top and just work our way down. So paste it here. And then here, our DTO is going to be handling this. So we get rid of this now. And we'll have to set up our DTO in a second. And then this I'll change over to private. And private. All right. And then we'll set up our constructor. So it's CTOR tab. And I'll copy and paste again. And we'll go ahead and add in our DTO. So cloud options DTO. And I'll make this shorter, the property name. I'll, I'll call it like storage option. Options. Yeah, that's better, a little shorter. Okay, and let's go ahead and set this up. Create this a while. Copy this. And throw this inside of our DTOs folder. And this is just going to be two properties. Uh, one's going to be our connection string. So connection string. And then uh, the next one's going to be for our container name. I'll call this profile picks container or something like that. Try to be more descriptive. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, save this and shut this down. Knock this error out. Bring in our DTOs. Okay, and then we'll initialize this. And I'm going to change this over. I like the uh, property, all the private properties that have that in front of it. That's just a personal preference. I'll go ahead and change these two over a while too. And change this. Okay, so we set up the top of our factory. Now let's go ahead and knock out our method. And this will be another copy and paste job. Reopen this up again. And then I'll minimize this so we can see it better. 
So we were setting this up within our index method. Now we're gonna set it up within our factory. And this is the section you wanna copy. And let's put that inside of our method right here. And then we'll just, again, at the top, work our way down, knocking out all the errors. So async, that should take care of our weight errors. And then let's bring this in from our Microsoft Azure storage. And now instead of doing this, we could bring it in from our DTL. And then, so now our DTO is called storage options, and then we're after a connection string. Okay, so took care of all the errors there. And then here, I'm gonna add this in. And then let's change our container name over, and we're getting that from the DTO, so storage container, and we called it profile picks container. Okay, and that's pretty much it. And now we want to return our blob container. That's the whole point of this factory. So return, and it's going to be blob container, second one, and close it up. Now let's do one more thing. Uh, let's check to see if this is even populated before we go doing all this extra work. So if this is already populated, this blob container, then don't bother doing this. Just return the blob container. That's the way I'm going to set it up. And that's really easy. All you do is do an if statement right here. So if blob container is not equal null, blob container, and then if it's not equal to null, then return blob container. Container. There it is. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the factory. Our factory is done. Let's save this. We can shut this down. And keep in mind, all this code that you're see, seeing here, you'll find down in the description. Call, click on a link called Snippet, and you can just copy and paste this right into your project. Okay, I'll close this down. And let's go back to here. Now that we created our factory, we set up our DTO. Now let's go and clean up our service, refactor it, and clean the interface up as well. Let's start at the top and work our way down refactoring the code. Now we can get rid of these properties here. We don't need them anymore. We're setting them within the factory. And also I'm going to get rid of this delete all method. The reason is I don't really want that functionality throughout the application. And I don't want someone accidentally calling that method and wiping out all the user profiles. So I'm just going to get rid of that just to be safe. I just want to show you, you could add that functionality if you wanted to. I'll get rid of that. And also the index too. I don't ever need to get a list of images. So I'll get rid of this. The two methods I'm interested in, in is the delete image and the upload a async. So that's pretty much it. Now we're no longer um, abiding by the contract anymore with our interface. Let's go take care of that. We go back here, open this up, and then we close this down and get rid of this. And get rid of this. That should get rid of that error. Save that, shut this down, and that should take care of that, okay. Let's set up our constructor now and tab and copy and paste, copy and paste. And then our new interface factory interface. And there it is. And then I'll call it storage connection factory. Initialize this. And like we did before, we'll just add this up to the beginning to here and here. Now we can take care of these two errors right here. I'm gonna create a variable right here for our blob container and I'll name it blob container. So var blob container, there it is. Forge connection, call that method in there called get container. And that's gonna go out and grab our container for us and put it in this variable. And that, oh, I keep forgetting to add the await. Oh, await, that, now I should take care of that. Great, we can copy this and take care of this error down here as well. Okay, so we just refactored our service. Now keep in mind, you can find a copy of this down in the description. If you click on snippets, you could just copy and paste this. I'll just clean this up a little bit, get rid of the space here. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, save this, 
And then if we go back to our checklist, now we're ready to go into our API, open up the app setting.json file, and we're going to add in our profile pick container, our blob container in there, the name of it, and also our connection string. We'll add them into this file next. Inside of the API, open up the app setting.development page, and I already have a snippet. I'll just paste it right here. And we need to go out and get the connection string and the blob container we want to add our images to. If we go back to our portal and go into the storage account, to find your access key, you just go in here or your connection string and just copy this line right here. And we'll throw it back in here in our connection string. And then the container that we want to use to store our images, go back here again. And you find that in the overview, containers, and profile picks. So I'll copy this so I don't spell it wrong. Jump back here again and throw it right in here. Now I'm going to copy this and remove the DEV and put this in my top secret app setting file. This is the file that I never push up to GitHub. And that this is the file that I actually want to use in testing as well. So I'm going to put this inside that file and I'll be back in one second. Okay, I went and put it in this file, shut it down and saved it. Now I'm gonna uh, just edit this again. So when I push this up to the repository, I want people to enter in their own information, not this string right here. I'll just put some text in here, letting them know to enter in their information. All right, that's perfect. And this is the file that I'll push up to GitHub. Now that this is done, let's start setting up our startup class. Let's go back to here. And what we'll do is we'll add our factory to the startup class and we'll do that next. This is going to be very similar to when we were adding our service, our cloud storage service right here. So it's going to be a services add singleton. So services add singleton and then our interface factory there it is right there all right and then i'll just copy and paste it so i don't have to type that all out copy paste and make sure we close it up correctly and pull this in from our services factory folder right there then within here is where we're going to return a new instance of our factory and where we're going to pass in that dto so i'll call this uh, SF or SP for service provider for short and a new line and then here we're going to set up a new instance of our DTO I'll pick that that'd be fine equals new and close it up and let's go and set our values to this we have two values uh, that we created for this one was the connection string We'll copy and paste this later so we don't get this wrong because if we misspell this, it'll give us all kind of problems. Let's go ahead and set up the other one a while. Now this is for our container. I call it profile picks container equals and same, same place configuration file. Okay, so let's jump back and forth copy and pasting. So go into your app settings. I'm going to copy this part right here. This is the way I spelled it within my app setting.json file. That's the file I actually want to use. So I'm just going to copy this and let's paste it in here. Control V and Control V and we'll go and copy this. Okay, so there is one more thing we need to do. We need to return a new instance of this. Return. Storage connection factory. And then now we're going to pass in our DTO. So cloud storage DTO. There it is. Okay, and that is all we need to do within our startup class. Save this. Again, this will be in a snippets link down in the description if you click on that snippets link you'll find find this snippet in there let's go back to here now let's go and set up our values controller 
and we just need to do some real quick configuration in there, refactoring, and then we'll be ready to test our APIs. Close this down and this down and open up our values controller. And now we're getting a couple errors here, the index and also the delete all. And the reason is, is we removed those methods. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this. And I'm deleting this entire values controller pretty soon actually. Uh, I'm just using this for testing. And that should have got rid of all the errors. Very good. Save this. Let's reboot our server at the command line, navigate into our API. And while this is booting up, I'll go open up Postman. Okay, we are finally ready for testing. So here is the API, it's values. And then in the body, we're, we're passing in the file and we're picking an image. So file, and I'll just select another image. Pick this one this time. Okay, and then we are ready. So hit, hit send. And we got 200, okay, that's awesome. Let's go back to our browser, open this up, and go into the containers, inside of our profile pics, and there is our brand new image, very good. Now let's see if we could delete this image. If we click on this, copy this, go back to here, and then inside of our delete, delete image inside of here, we'll paste the URL to that image and then hit send. We got 200. Okay. If we go back here again, hit refresh or actually just go back one and now hit refresh and it's no longer there. So our upload method is working and our delete method is working. Now in the next video, we're going to create a method within our employer controller where the user can edit their account. And when they're editing their account, they can upload an image. And we'll do that in the next video. So I'll see you then.